aerospace historian Amy Shearer Title is in Roswell, New Mexico, recreating one of Goddard's landmark engineering feats. This rocket is a replica of the A-5 built by rocket pioneer Robert Goddard in 1935. And it was in this desert landscape, away from populated areas, that Goddard was first able to fire his rockets to really show how powerful they were. Goddard was fascinated by space travel as a child. In 1915, he launched his first rocket, but the gunpowder he used to fuel his early prototypes was extremely inefficient. He knew that to ultimately leave the pull of the Earth's gravity, he would need a far more powerful fuel source. And so he turned to liquid propulsion, a mix of gasoline and liquid oxygen that would burn with a hotter reaction and create a more powerful rocket. Burning gasoline and liquid oxygen together in a combustion chamber creates a high-pressure, high-velocity stream of hot gas. Passing it up through two pipes and down a nozzle accelerates the flow of the gas even more, producing thrust to propel the rocket upward. The higher the temperature, the greater the thrust. This is actually a replica of his 1926 rocket that he used as a proof of concept demonstration of the power of liquid propulsion. He named it Nell and it flew 41 feet in just two seconds before it crashed. It was a short but incredibly significant flight. Goddard created the blueprint for the modern rocket. Goddard successfully launched 34 liquid-fueled rockets, reaching altitudes as high as one and a half miles at speeds approaching 750 miles an hour. And today, one of his engineering masterpieces, the A-5 rocket, has been replicated by the Albuquerque Rocket Society and is set to launch in the New Mexican desert. So this is really cool. This is like going back in time. This is it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's amazing! Oh! This is really incredible. You can just imagine Robert Goddard and his team being out here doing this exact same thing 80 years ago.